guys, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> hey guys, yeah. Hey guys, welcome. This is getting on my nerves. This is sick. video on this look it's very spring inspired it's something different and i just really like it and i hope you guys like it too to see how i achieve this look keep on watching and i hope you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel later but later guys so i'm going to start by priming my face with my nivea cream since i do have really dry skin so i'm just going to do that and once i do that i am going to take the Professional by Benefit to minimize my pores. Now moving on to the eyes. I'm going to take my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and put that all over my lids and also on my bottom lash line. Then I'm going to jump right into my Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to take that burgundy-ish dark, dark type of orange shade and apply that as my transition color. Once I do that, I'm going to take that coppery golden type of shade and apply that all over my lid with my finger. And after that, I am going to take the shimmery, pink shimmery type of shade and apply that to the center of the lid to give it a nice pop. Because you know, so yeah. Then I'm going to go back in with a blending brush to just blend out any harsh edges or anything. And once I do that, I'm going to take those two brown type of shades on a Sigma, Sigma brush and apply that to my crease area. Then I'm just going to build up some more color to my desired liking. Now once I do that, I'm going to take my Kat Von D, uh, my Kat Von D foundation in Deep 66 and buff that into my skin with my Juvia's Place brush. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Medium Beige and apply that under my eye, the tip of my nose, and also on the bridge of my nose. And I'm just going to take my Damp Beauty Blender to blend that in my skin. Then I'm buffing out the edges with my foundation brush and I'm going to set my under eye with my Bandai Banana Powder and I'm also going to set my nose and I'm also going to set my smile line because my foundation does crease there so I'm setting that so it doesn't crease. I don't necessarily like to bake but I'm just going to leave the powder on for about 10 to 20 seconds and I'm just going to dust it away with a big fluffy brush. Moving on to bronzing. I'm going to bronze my face with my Dark Radiance Bronzer in the shade Ebony and with my Morphe S13 brush. And I'm also going to contour my nose with the same shade. I'm just using a type of eyeshadow brush by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to push that product into my skin with my Beauty Blender. Now we're dusting away all of that excess powder because we don't want to be looking all ashy and stuff. Now I'm going to highlight. I used my Carly Bybel palette and I used the second shade to highlight. And I just wet my brush with my setting spray. You can use water or anything if you want. And I'm highlighting the areas I usually like to highlight above my brow, highest points of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow. I put on a little too much so I am going to dampen the booty of my beauty blender and push the product into my skin kind of then after that i am going to take my foundation brush and kind of blend it out a little bit more now moving on to the eyes i am lining my waterline with a black liner from colourpop in the color swerve then once i do that i'm just going to do the same thing i did to my top lid and I'll do it to my bottom lash line. So taking the dark orange and blending that out. And then I'm applying the pink shimmery shade to my inner corner. And 
and I also forgot to film the part where I put in my mascara so I'm just gonna put the Neutrogena mascara on my lower lashes and I'm just lining my lip with any old brown lip liner that you have I got this from a drugstore and yeah that's it and for my liquid lipstick I am using from Colourpop in the shade Chi this is the Caruche collab with Colourpop I love Colourpop so much so yeah and that's kind of it for this look and I just set my face with my Urban Decay setting spray from Exotic Hair. I will put the link to their website down below if you want to know anything about it. I have in, in I believe two and a half bundles or three bundles of their Peruvian hair. They have three bundles of 16, 18, and 20 for 155 and I have in a front loop. So yeah, I'll put the link for the website down, be down below. It's very nice, good quality hair. So yeah. So I hope you guys liked my video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know what type of videos you would like to see so I can do them for you guys. So yes, I hope you guys really liked this video. Please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.